Hi guys, in this video we will learn about the sessions in ZAP. In one of our early sessions when we started ZAP for the first time, it threw the following dialog box to ask if we wanted to persist the ZAP session or not. So let us first of all understand what persisting a session means. Persisting a session means it will be stored in a local database that you can access at a later date. You do not need to keep saving a session as everything that happens in the session is continually saved. It is much faster to persist a session at the start, but you can always persist a session later if you need to. We'll see an example of this later in this video. If you close ZAP without persisting your session, then you will not be able to access it again. So let us start ZAP now. So as you can see, ZAP is up and running now, but it didn't throw that dialog message. That's fine. What you can do is, in order to enable that feature, you can go to Tools, Options, and if you scroll down to database, there you will see prompt for persistence option on new session. So if you just click it and we will leave the default value do not automatically persist and click OK. So now let us start Zap again. So now this time it should throw a dialog window on startup. Okay, as you can see now it is asking that option again. So what is this? Yes, I want to persist this session. So if you choose this option, Zap would store the session in the default directory with a name based on the current timestamp. So the default directory on a Windows 10 computer will be C colon slash users, your user ID. And then if you go to the OS Zap folder, in there, there is a sessions folder. So that is the default directory it is talking about. So if we just minimize this, select this option for this exercise purpose and click on the start button. Let us quickly manually explore our Mutual Day website so that we have got some messages captured in the history tab and in the sites tab. Just to tidy up the sites view, I'm just going to delete those unwanted sites. And now we have got our Mutual Day website in the site tree view. So when you exit this, I'm just going to click OK to these warnings and let it shut down. And now if you go back to your WASP Zap Sessions folder, you will see it has saved the session with a lot of other files on timestamp basis. So let us relaunch Zap now and we will try to open that session and see what it shows. So if I just choose no, I don't want to persist this session, click on start. And now if I go to file open session and if we pick up the dot session file, open it and here are all the messages in the history tab and all the site trees there. So this was our option when we say yes I want to persist this session with name based on the current timestamp. So let us close this session again and restart Zap. Okay, this time let's pick up the second option which is yes I want to persist this session but I want to specify the name and location. 
So it is exactly the same option as the last one, but you can specify the location and name of the session file. So let us see what it is. So if I click on start now, Zap will ask me what file name you want to save it with and which location. So let us choose say our downloads folder and name it as test session and save it and if we do the same exercise capture some events in our history and site pre and let us save this time everything in our session if we just exit zap now it will throw similar kind of warnings just click ok let's start it again and this time when you start up just click no i don't want to persist this session and let us try to open the session which we saved in the downloads folder so here is the our downloads folder here is the test session so if we click open it has got everything in the history tab and all the sites are listed in the site stream window so instead of restarting zap this time so if i just click on new session within os zap it says the current session will be closed create new session if i just click ok you will see the same window so we could have done the same exercise without restarting zap so if i just start it so you get a new session now let us launch our Day website to capture some events and if we just get rid of the unnecessary sites now in the file menu we select the persist session there you can specify a name so let's call it session one save and on our website let's try to do a login with admin and admin pause and if we exit now I'm just ignoring these warnings again clicking on ok so obviously it has saved our session if we go and look in the downloads folder it has created session one files so let's uh, relaunch zap now so again if we just select no i do not want to persist this session so we'll start and let's manually explore our mutual day website so this time on the home page what we are going to do is we are going to go to the web services so test page and hello world and here is the test page and if we go back and again go to the web services command injection dns lookup click here you can come back and we can close the browser now and let's get rid of all the unnecessary urls so this time if we just say persist session again at this stage and call it as session 2 save it let's reload our session 1 so in order to open the session go to the file menu and say session 1 and here is our session 1 messages and all the tree view we have got now session 1 and session 2 so we are in currently in session 1 so if i go 
to the reports menu and select the option compare with another session select session 2 and it asks me to specify a file name for compare so if I just say compare and click save it should open up a browser with the comparison so as you can see if we just click on just session one so these are the files or URLs which are only in session one if I click on just session two these are the only URLs which are in session two and if I go click on both sessions so these are the URLs which are present in both sessions session one and session two and if I click on any session these are the URLs which are present in either session one or session two so this is basically the complete list you can use this feature to compare the two sessions where you want to compare the URL visited by users with the different roles or permissions also there are a couple of other options here regarding sessions you can exit and delete session so once it exits the app it will delete that session as well if you want to have a look there is a warning message which comes up if we just click ok and if I go back to the download folder where we created the session session one is no longer there because it deleted all the data also there is another feature so if we just start a new session and say no I do not want to persist this session at this moment and go to manual explore let's quickly launch our website again and you can persist this session as session 3 and then if you carry out some more tests on your website you can save the current status as a snapshot so it will automatically provide a date timestamp for the snapshot so you can say snapshot and it has saved it as a snapshot so even if I now exit and delete this session it will still save the snapshot see it has still saved the snapshot data so this is how you can save your test sessions and snapshots in zap and use them later on for analysis and reporting purpose if you haven't done already please do subscribe share and like the video thanks